So next I've got this here, which I've never ever seen before. And I think it looks so, so cool. So I could not resist picking it up. and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing very very well today so today i'm gonna to be doing a home bargains haul i've not done a haul in a little while i got kind of to the point where i was doing hauls like every single video so i kind of had a little chill out i've not done one for a while and i've not been shopping for a while so i was super super excited when i went to home bargains today and i just had to share with you what i got so if you want to see what i got from home bargains make sure you stick around so I did actually get a lot more things than I was expecting to get and then I was kind of meaning to get. I start off with these storage boxes here. So my room is almost complete, but I'm still doing like some of my drawers and some of my little shelves and things like that. So I'm kind of still stocking up on my little storage boxes to try and make everything a lot more organised. So I got this one here. I'm pretty sure this one was like a pound, something like that. And then this one here was a little bit more expensive and i just couldn't resist because it's such a good size it will fit so many different things in i've already got a couple of these as well and they really really do the job they keep everything so neat so in place and so organized and then inside these i've got some hair fever allergy and relief tablets these i was running out of i've got really bad hair fever and allergenic rhinitis so these really help so next i've got this here which i've never ever seen before and i think it looks so so cool so i could not resist picking it up i use micellar water i use cleansing micellar water so i'll link as many items as i can in the description box down below for you and if i can't link the exact ones i'll link very very similar ones or other ones that i've tried before like alternative products so i'll be linking those down below so do make sure you check that out. and this is micellar water but if you can see it's kind of in like a package it's not in like a bottle it's like them it's kind of a bit like a capri sun so it says squeeze me until the last drops it's really good that you can get like all of it out 60 percent less plastic than the other simple products like this so this is absolutely amazing i think it's so good and it's refillable as well because if you can see there's a little screw on there so if i run out i can then get one of my bigger bottles and refill this so this is what i've been wanting for a while and i think this kind of thing is so so good it's amazing for the environment and it's just so handy you could just stick this in your bag and it's so small really lightweight and i think it's just such a great idea so next thing I've got is this little makeup bag here and it was 2 99 It says beauty on it there. I love this. It's a marble effect with rose gold down the zip and I think it's so gorgeous. It's got so much space inside as well. So you can see it opens up really wide but you can fit so much stuff in there. So I'm super excited to be using this. I really, really do need another one. The next item I've got was this Russell Rabbit Mega Crunchers. These, I've never tried them before but I love trying new treats and new kind of snacks for my little bunnies and my guinea pigs and that kind of thing so I thought you know what I'll get these for my bunnies they are like three orange carrot shaped biscuits look like that and they're supposed to be healthy and just a nice little treat for them as well so I'll be trying those out tonight and we'll have to see what they think of them I think they're only like 89p as well which is really good value because a lot of pet treats are like between like three and five pounds so it's good to be able to get some cheaper treats and they're so big like inside they're so big that because I've got like four rabbits so a whole one will probably just split between them anyway so for stationery, I actually got three folders. I've been wanting these for a while to be all organised with like my finances and my documents, like my driving licence and my university degree, like papers and my college degree papers and all things like that. So I want to be more, so I want to be a lot more organised with like all my paper documents. So this is the first one that I've got and it's called an elasticated folder. It fits A4 paper and I think it's such a cute colour. It's like a pastel baby blue. And if you undo these little straps here, and this opens up um so this opens up here and you can see inside you can pull this bit down put the paper in or just slide the paper into the top keep your paper nice safe clean and it's not going to get messy or scruffy and it keeps them all together i think this is going to be so so useful and so good i'll probably use this for some of my university documents next year and then also I then also got one that's very very similar to that because it's the exact same colour so it's from like a, like the same collection kind of thing. I know they don't call it collection and stationery but oh well. So I love the little button on here because it's a little button and it's where and it's for the little piece of elastic and I love this little button here it's for the piece of elastic to like pull over so it can stay shut and secure. This is an expanding file. I nearly got another one of these, but it was like five pounds and this one was like 2 99 I think that other folder was like a pound. So if you open it up, you've got two little sections here where you can put little labels and then it's got so many compartments in, like it's so, so good. For 2 99 you cannot go wrong with that at all. And then it's got these little date labels as well, which I don't think I'll use them as date labels, but I'll probably do on the 
um, back of them i'll probably like write whatever i need to do from little categories and things i'm probably going to use this one for my youtube thing so everything youtube related like all my plans on my notes everything so i think this is so good i don't you get one two three four five three three four five six seven eight so you get 13 folders if you include like the one at the very front and one at the very back you get 13 things to put things in and i think these are so so helpful and i love how they expand to go to like a bigger size and then when you're done with it you can like push it straight back in and then it's more compact and it'll fit like in my drawers a lot easier so my third item is this here this is i'm so obsessed with this this is like the first thing that i picked up at the shop and it's got these little straps here to keep it secure but if i open this up i think it's so so cute i just think it's got such a nice little layout and such nice colors it's really really nice designs and it's again very similar to the first one but it's like more 3d so you can put all your documents and paper and things inside here and it keeps them nice secure and safe and keeps everything together i just think this feels so strong such good quality and it's so so pretty as well and i think if you've got pretty stationery you're more likely to actually use it i feel like i've got a lot of these in like not pairs but in kind of like color schemes because the next one that i've got is this little notepad here it says get it done i felt that's kind of inspiration not inspirational but I like things that have like quotes on them or like little bits of writing because it kind of just motivates me in a way. So I really like this one. This one again wasn't that expensive. I think it was like 129 but if you got the A4 version instead of A5, it was 179 I believe. I almost got it but I decided not to just for travel reasons. This is so much more compact and so much easier to carry around with you. And if you look inside, it's just lined A5 pages and it's super cool. I just think these are always so, so useful. You cannot go wrong with a notepad. So I'm definitely gonna find something to use with this. I'm constantly jotting down notes for all sorts of different things. So I'll definitely be using this. So the next thing I'm gonna move on to is like hair products and things for hair. So I've got these four clips here. These are James London styling clips. These are so good. I definitely, definitely recommend them. I just love hair clips like this, especially for, even if you just tie your hair up just to do your makeup, they're so helpful. They really, really do keep your hair out of the way and they are so good. I then got this brush here. This isn't for me, this is for my mum. I love the colour of it, but I cannot stand these brushes. I live by paddle brushes, as everybody should know by now. Paddle brushes is the way to go. This one here though is just, I'm not a massive fan, but they do actually do a good job they do make your hair look nice i just don't like them personally i think they're just a bit too sharp because the bristles are like really like they don't have like soft caps on the ends or anything and i just find them really sharp on my head i love love the color though it's like a really nice cerise pink and purple and it's really nice chrome effect but yeah this is a brush my mum bought but since i kind of got everything we just kind of put it in my basket too i'm hopefully going camping soon so i've got this little water bottle i've always wanted one like this i've never had an excuse to get one i'm also loving like a purple like this cerise purpley shade at the moment so i couldn't resist and it's one of the ones that's foldable it holds half a liter of water and i'm really excited to use it because i have a weird water bottle obsession but i think this would just be perfect for camping and it was only like 50p i think it was either 59 or 89 i'm not sure but Again, you can't go wrrong with that. I keep saying you can't go wrong with things that are 50p, but the shop ended up being like 50 odd pounds. So the next two sets of hair clips I've got here, these are six hair clips there and they're all the same. They're a bit smaller than the other one. They've got like more prongs on them too. These are quite good. I don't use these kind of things that much, but they are really good. I prefer the bigger ones. And then here you've got three kind of like middle sized ones. You've got, this one's bigger than the other two, but they're quite... They're not as big as the other ones, but they're not as small as those ones. So they're really good because you've got in between sizes. So you've kind of got a size for anything you want to do. And again, they were like 59p each. So why not? <laughs> so I'm now going to move on to like, the makeup side. I'm not going to go into this in too much detail just because I'm going to be doing a video on this. It's going to be a full face of home bargains makeup, which I'm so excited for. I've already bought a couple of bits like back in the past in a different haul but i'm gonna do this and show you all the bits that i've got now so this is the first thing that i've got i don't really have a headband that's specifically for when i do my makeup or moisturize or anything like that so this is the first one that i've got it's called seriously wild headband for cleansing or app applying makeup so i'm gonna open it up and actually have a look i thought it's gonna look amazing or disgusting i don't know how this works but let's just have a go It's not like the best thing in the world, but it was like 50p 
and it's more for practicality than for looking cute so it'll just do and it'll do the job and it'll mean it so i don't actually get like foundation on my hair anymore so yeah that'll definitely do so the next ones i got were these beauty blenders they're called makeup sponges Ugh, i don't even know how to get into these but these sponges look really cute i love the fact they come in four different colors they're really nice and i cannot wait to try them out i think they would be really really good for blending my concealer in because some of mine sometimes just feel a little bit too round and i think this would really be good for like patting it in and being gentle with it so i'm really excited to try them out they seem really really spongy and really soft so they seem really really good and they were like i think it was £1.29 for the four so i think that was a really good deal and i do think they are really cute so the next thing that i actually got was this highlight it's a compact highlight and it's called golden glow this is an olivia hair one which is generally the beauty brand that they use at home bargains i haven't actually looked at this yet so i'm going to take it out of the packets and have a look now i don't expect it to be the best because i think it was like a pound but this is actually really peculiar packaging i wasn't expecting it to be like this because it's kind of like a container like a plastic acrylic container around the actual palette itself okay this is very weird that was really really unexpected so basically when you open it up this is why it looks so strange if you open it up like that and then you've got the kind of palettes like another section in the middle and then on the other side there's a mirror and then you get a brush here admittedly this is not the best quality brush and this isn't something i think i'll probably use but it's so so handy to have to have one in there so if like you're going out somewhere or you're going to concert or whatever and you want to take it with you you literally all you have to take is that you don't have to take anything else so i think that's actually so cool i did not see that coming so i'm gonna kind of like have a look now oh so it does look quite pigmented i don't know if you're gonna be able to see if i do a swatch though so that's what it looks like so it does look really highly pigmented which is really unexpected but it just depends how well it blends in but i think it actually looks quite nice so i'm actually quite excited to use that i did not think i was gonna be any good at all normally the cheap highlights i buy are just not worth it they're really not so i also bought a bronzer which is a very similar idea i got this in shade dark just because the lights look too light and so i'm using it more of a contour than a bronze just because i didn't have any contours so i'm just gonna open this up yeah this is a similar idea but it's not the same as the other one clear acrylic packaging and if i open that up it's quite a nice caramelly hot chocolatey color it don't look as dark on camera as it does in real life but it's a lot darker and that just look quite pigmented as well yeah so i do think i'm gonna like that but i think it might be a little bit orange so i might have to blend it in with like a darker shade too because it does look quite orange i'm really obsessed with that highlighter though that's really really good that's just from one little swatch that is really really good i'm very very impressed i'm so excited to use this in a video i'm actually so excited so next i've got was this olivia hell mascara again i've got to get a full face for the video so i might as well get the mascara and um, this one actually looks quite good i like the fact that the wand and the thing come separate which might just be me being weird but i just kind of like that because i feel like in the store you don't want people like opening balls all the time and drying them out to have a look at them but here you can actually see it and you don't have to like open bottles to like, see what the one looks like I don't just open there, so. so this is what it looks like i think again it was like 149 was this i think um this is the mascara this is what it looks like i love the fact that it's got a little cap that's so cute i actually really like this brush i'm not quite sure about the end because it kind of looks a bit like a spiky pineapple i've only actually got a couple of items left now so i'm going to start off with this one this is the carex moisturizer hand gel i've already got hand sanitizer but i kind of just wanted some more this one is 70 percent alcohol and they've said it needs to be 16 above for corona so it should cover that and um, it smells quite neutral like it kind of just smells a bit like carex you know the like neutral like, bath gel and like hand wash when you just wash your hands generally so it is really good and i just think it's really nice really gentle and it moisturizes your hands at the same time they're, like all this like washing your hands over corona cause, like obviously people wash their hands anyway but people like doing it in the extremes now so i feel like the fact that people are washing their hands like so so much making people's hands so so dry because the excess moisture and all that's just really drying people's hands out so i think this is so so useful and like such a good idea so I then got this Olivia Hale BB Cream. I didn't want to use a foundation, so I thought I'd use this like instead of a foundation. I've never actually used this before, and because of Corona, you can't do any swatches, so I had no idea what shade to get. As it's not a really big brand, they only had three shades, light, medium, and dark. And I saw in their concealers, the light concealer was like 
literally translucent. So I thought it might be too light. So I think this is a better shade for me. But if it's not, then I'll probably just like mix it in with something or use like a light powder to go over the top to kind of like tone it down a bit maybe. So I'm going to have a little look at the shade now. I feel like it's going to be really dark. Do you know what? I don't think that's too bad actually. So that's what it looks like on my hand. I'm going to blend it out and have a look. Do you know what? It's not too bad. I wouldn't wear it on like a day to day. Like you can't really see it that well now. So I wouldn't wear it on like a day to day basis. But for the video purposes, I think that's not too bad. So I actually got these Olivia Hale 12 color eyeshadow palette as well. This is really cute. I think it's got some really nice shades and some really nice like shimmers in there too. So I'm just going to open that up and have a look. I really don't know what pigmentation is going to be like because I was expecting like the highlight pigmentation to be really bad. But that was actually really good. So... I don't know this could be really good too okay so that is actually adorable I love the variety of shades that you get in this palette it comes with a tiniest little brush I probably won't use this but it's always handy anyway so I love the fact it's got so many different shades it's got like a dark like a dark red a dark pink like this is actually like a really maroony shimmer but it looks quite black on camera these two here are so nice this is kind of like a caramelly, whitey, caramelly coral. I don't know how to describe it. This one looks stunning. This is like a pink shimmer. There's four shimmers, like four like intense shimmers, two like kind of chill shimmers, and then... One, two, three, four, five, six. And then six matte shades. I'm gonna have a little look at the pigmentation. Oh, that looks nice. That looks quite nice. I'm gonna have a look though that is really good this is really really surprised me but look at that one that's really surprised me but that's done really well i'm just gonna swatch like one more because why not so that's another one that i've just looked at oh my god it's so pretty it's quite creamy though it's not that powdery it is quite a creamy palette but that's the other one that i've done you can't see it that well because the lighting and because i've swatched like a million things on my hands but i definitely definitely do like this palette i thought i was gonna get all this stuff and then use it for one video and then never use it again but I feel like I actually might use some of this stuff again now because it actually seems really, really good quality. So I also got this setting spray because I thought if I'm going to do a full face, I might as well go ahead and get the setting spray and go it all out. So I'm just going to have a look at this. So this just says Olivia Hale setting spray. I do like the bottle. I think it's quite cute because it's just all black and then rose gold writing in print there. So I think that's quite cool. I'm just going to have a look what it actually looks like when it comes out. That looks like a lot actually comes out. I know I probably shouldn't have wasted that and people are going to like shout at me for it, but... This one's really good. It's supposed to dry matte, which I'm really excited about because all the ones that I've looked at so far seem really, really good. So I'm actually quite excited to see if this works because I know a lot of my friends and a lot of my other YouTube friends have been looking for a setting spray that's cheap drugstore kind of idea that actually works. I'm so excited to try this out. So the last two things I bought with these brushes, I think these are actually really, really good. They look to be good quality. I've not tried them yet. I've got another one, but I have no idea where it's gone. It's strangely disappeared. But this one is a contour brush. I thought this would be quite good because I don't want to get too many things. So I thought I could use my beauty blenders to like apply foundation and concealer and that kind of thing. And then I thought, well, like blend it in as well. And I thought I could use a contour brush for highlight, contour and any other things like that sculpting. And then I've got a small brush as well, which is quite similar to like one of these brushes. I've got a small brush like this for eyes, which I'm probably going to use for eyes, eyebrows and anything else that needs small details like that too. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I always seem to kind of like have a weird random splash out at Home Bargain and I spend so much money there, but I really enjoy it and I enjoy showing you guys what I got and I'm so excited to do my full face video for Home Bargains. That's so exciting and I think it's going to be really interesting. I feel like it could actually turn out okay. So do make sure you keep your eye open for that too and thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye guys! I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Pretty much like beauty blenders that look beauty blenders. These are basically beauty blenders that look like they've been hit by a bus because they're that flat. So, oh my god, I'm set my laptop. It's gonna die. <laughs> this is what the brush likes. And it moisturizes both your hands at the same time. It's got a little clear acrylic pack. So it's got a clear acrylic. Oh my god, that is such a tongue twister. It's got a clear acrylic. Oh my god.